Both Crystal Palace and Aston Villa were locked on 13 points before kick-off at Selhurst Park. But having gone nine league games without a win, it was the visitors that carved out the first real chance. Christian Benteke wonderfully denied by a flying Julian Spironi. The Belgium international was back from suspension and had been very quiet up until this point. But having seen his effort clawed away by Spironi, moments later he would get the goal he deserved. Having robbed Scott Dan near the halfway line, he dribbled towards goal and beautifully bent it in. The strike was Benteke's first of the season and actually his first since the spring, having been robbed of the back end of the last campaign through an awful injury. It was, in truth, the only moment of quality in an otherwise fairly poor encounter in South London. And having started the first half on top, Crystal Palace ended it well too. Yannick Balassi with this effort, which was kept out superbly by Brad Guzan. Balassi struck it as well as he could from Wilfred Zaha's cross. But Guzan was equal to it, and Aston Villa went into the break with a crucial 1-0 advantage. They might have expected Palace to have come at them in the second half, but despite plenty of possession for the Eagles, they rarely threatened. And Andy Weirman actually had the second half's best opportunity when Spironi denied him with his shins. The Austrian struck it well enough, and that would have been game over had it gone in. But the lead at only one, Villa had to endure some nervy final moments. Not least when Wilfried Zaha burst into the box, but his dangerous cross somehow evaded three Palace players and Aston Villa held on for their first league win since the middle of September.